One last thing, which is really good to show you, which I'm going to add into this list right here, is uh, freeze panes. And so on my grade book, I come over to uh, the idea behind freeze panes is whatever's the active cell, it's going to freeze everything above that and everything to the left of that. So I, I put my active cell right there, and I go up to view and choose freeze panes. Right there, freeze panes, and it just put in little lines. I don't know if you saw that happen. Undo doesn't take them out actually, so I'm going to unfreeze panes. The little lines came out, and then freeze panes again. Those little lines came in, and what that does is now as I scroll through everything, right, it keeps the names to the left, so I could scroll all the way over and I could see. Ah, uh, look, there it is. Those are the people who got different grades in the class. I might want to sort this by last name uh, because, um, so I'll add that as the last thing, sort data, sort by last name. Because I'm going to have to enter the grades into the school system and they do those alphabetically by last name. So I'm going to come to the top left here and click. Mm, no, I'm not. Because otherwise, if I did that, it's also going to sort into the mix this stuff up here. So I'm just going to select from here all the way over to there. And do I want to include the header row? Um, yeah, so I'm going to select from there up to the header row and all the way over. And now I'm going to go to data, sort, and I'm going to say my data has headers. So when I look in this list, it shows me the headers. I'm going to sort by last name, A to Z. I hit OK and watch, you'll see these change here. So just remember Melissa Gomez 10.33%. And now we can look at that and Melissa Gomez has, uh, sorry, Melissa Gomez has 10.33%. And now we're in alphabetical order by last name. And we could bring this all the way over. And we could easily enter our grades into the system. That's creating a grade book from scratch.